nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep, and neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. One of the fun things about uh, the holiday season that just ended was at, at the beginning of the holiday season, I was looking at Facebook, and I have you know, certain family members that have brand new babies in, in their lives, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun to see the excitement, living it again. I mean, we went through it our own selves, Robin, when our children were little, and and uh, and now that we're older, we can see we ha we're not grandparents yet. It's no, no, not yet. Something our children haven't done for us yet. Not, no, we, we <laughs> not have that I'm dogs. rushing them. I'm, I'm not, we have dogs now. We have dogs. Yeah, dogs. Dogs are your children, children before you have children. Yeah. And then when you have children, dogs become dogs. And then after your children leave the nest, or whatever they say, then dogs become children again. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, it was kind of it was kind of cute to see uh, you know baby's first Christmas and that kind of stuff being posted on Facebook. Oh, was, yeah. It was kind of cute. We love. Our children, of course we do. Uh, we have a doctor, he's been on the air with us before, Dr. Scott Adzik. He's the Surgeon-in-Chief at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, is the also the Director of the Hospital Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment. In uh, January is Birth Defects Awareness Month, and the notes that were sent to me to prepare for this interview said this disturbing fact, one in every 33 babies is born with a birth defect. Uh, and he's going to talk to us about some advancing technology that might help that or, or, or correct some of the problems. Good morning, Dr. Scott Adzik. Good morning, doctor. Good morning to you. How are you? Where, you? where are you right now? Are you in a cold place? 
Well, we're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is probably a little colder than where you are, so don't rub it in. I wanted to rub it in. I asked you just so I could do that. However, however, I'm kind of kidding you because it's really 48 degrees here. That's, does that sound good to you? I don't know. It's cold to us. <laughs> yeah, well, there's snow falling here, so you have the advantage. Aww. See? But you say that, but I miss snow because yeah. both Robin and I are transplants. Well, anyway, good morning. How, how, how was your holiday? Everything go okay, I hope? Good. Just, just work like a dog, just like the dogs you were talking about. Oh, really? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do, we, do we have a... Do we have a uh, this is a crazy question, but I mean, do we have a, a busier time of year for, for births? Do, do more people get born like in January or September or something? No, that that's what what it is true that is if there's a uh, you know bad weather like really bad weather or in in the old days those blackouts in New New York City uh, the the dictum was that nine months later there'd be a little baby, and it was true, right? It, it worked out that way. Yes, it did. <laughs> and after the war, the reason we're called baby boomers, Robin and I, I don't know if you're in our generation, but is because after the war everybody was. Yoo-hoo, the war's over. Let's have sex. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, all right, then. So we're, we're going to talk about birth defects. Yeah, birth defects. So- out that, uh, the shocking fact that one in every 33 babies uh, right. in the U.S. is born with a birth defect. That's incredible. Right. Birth, def- birth defects are costly. Billions of dollars required for medical treatment. They're merciless. No parent is immune. They're mysterious. Most causes of the birth defects are unknown. I believe they're overlooked in terms of research into the causes and treatment are underfunded, and they're deadly. Birth defects are the leading cause of mortality. Oh, really? And and are the numbers worse now than they were once upon a time? It seems like 33 is uh, not a very big number. Well, I, I think that we're more aware of it. There's no, there are some birth defects that are uh, a little more common now than they were 10, 10 or 20 years ago, which may point to environmental factors. But for the most part, uh, the incidence of individual birth defects are pretty constant. Every once in a while we hear about a, a mother who has, or maybe the baby is what you say, has surgery while still in the womb uh-huh. um, to correct the child from being born with a birth defect, but obviously it's a pre-birth defect, I guess you would say. Is th- Are those surgeries more often now, and are they correcting what uh, a problem before you really see it? Well, that, that's a good question. That, that's sort of my thing. Um, I'm a fetal surgeon, basically, and we can now treat life-threatening or devastating birth defects before birth if the damage would have been ongoing before birth. To oh, really? Like, like, give us an example of something that's common or, or, or just one, an example. One good example about uh, each week at CHOP, our highly sophisticated fetal surgery team uh, repairs spina bifida before birth. And spina bifida is a birth defect in which the, the back doesn't close properly or spinal cords, so the spinal cord and nerves are exposed and progressively damaged before birth. These are children when they're born, depending on how high the birth defect goes on the spine, are paralyzed, can't walk, or wheelchair-bound, develop hydrocephalus brain damage and require a shunt tube after birth. So in those cases, in highly selected circumstances, we can actually close the spina bifida before birth to protect those delicate nerves, to prevent hydrocephalus, to prevent the need for the shunt tube, and that operation is done, a big operation, between uh, 20 and 25 weeks gestation, where a term is about 40 weeks, so about halfway through, about when the baby is about the size of your hand. Oh, wow. So when the parents are told that this has to be done, it's got to be very scary for everybody. Um, what, what is the likelihood that it wouldn't work, that it wouldn't correct it? Well, first of all, we, we get m- many referrals uh, from all 50 states and from around the world, r- really, for mothers carrying babies with various sorts of birth defects, some of which are treated before birth, many of which are, are treated after birth. And yes, it, it's very shocking to go in at 18 weeks gestation and have an ultrasound to determine may, maybe the baby's gender and to learn that there's a devastating birth defect, such mm-hmm. as spina bifida, and then to side, you know, what what the, the parents want to uh, do and things of that sort. So, yes, it's a, it's a process and a referral process and 
very involved. And sometimes, you know, the parents do everything right. The mom does everything right. We have a friend that her baby was born uh, eight years ago. She did everything right. Uh, the doctors kept saying everything looked good, the sonograms and whatever else pictures they took. And then when the baby was born, she didn't have any uh, um, uh, a skeletal it, it issue. She could. She she still can't sit up by herself. She has to have a feeding tube, and this was not detected while she was in the womb. Yeah, there there are some some things. If it's not an anatomic abnormality, and if if there's no genetic testing done, uh, then then you you wouldn't up such a, uh, a condition. Oh wow. We're very, we're very good at seeing structural things that are wrong, and now now there's a lot of genetic screening going going on. Um, uh, with that can be done non-invasively by by drawing blood from the mother. They can detect fetal cells in in the maternal blood and do genetic screening on those fetal cells. Because when you're pregnant as as a mom, some fetal cells leak across the to, into the mother's bloodstream. No, oh, really. Is, is there a time period in the gestation? time uh, when you can say, okay, everything looks good, or could something develop even late in, in, the, t- in the gestation period? Usually a good thorough uh, ultrasound at 18 to 20 weeks gestation uh, with a, a view of the four chamber, view of the heart. If things look okay, then usually things are, are all right. So it has to be thorough, thorough, thorough though, and ultrasound is very observer dependent. So when we have patients come to see us, They've been referred with, with a birth defect, and we're doing an ultrasound to look for other birth defects as well as to do fetal MRI, which we help to develop. So you right. can MRI. Yes. So the, those all ultrasounds are two-hour ultrasounds because we want to look at everything, fingernails. And oh everything. wow, really? Gosh. So you mentioned that people, patients, come to you from all over the country, maybe even all over the world. Is if if there is some kind of a questionable issue with the fetus. Do you recommend that patients here in Central Florida go to where you are up in in Pennsylvania? Well, you you have it depends on the on what the problem is. You you, you have very good physician groups and 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 uh, hospitals there. Usually, uh, centers such as that refer to to us if there's a particularly unusual problem, particularly one that might need fetal therapy. Hmm. Uh, so is there is there an additional message for doctors? Or is there a new information for doctors, or is this mostly a, a, a patient-level uh, campaign that you're on today? Well, we, we want to spread spread the word, of course, so we, we appreciate the time on your uh, show. Um, the, the, this is a, a unique service that we provide. We, we have a website, of course, just like everybody in the galaxy, which is fetalsurgery.com chop.edu so fetal surgery dot chop dot edu so and and the children and, and the children's hospital of philadelphia is celebrating their 20th anniversary for your fetal surgery program which is outstanding that's true chop, chop uh, children's hospital of philadelphia which is known as chop is the oldest uh, children's hospital in the western hemisphere founded in 1855 and yes, uh, our Center for Fetal Diagnosis and Treatment is 20 years old. We've had more than 16,000 referrals from all 50 states and from uh, 60 countries outside the U- U.S. And so this year we'll evaluate more than 1,500 mothers carrying babies with defects. There will be about 500 deliveries in our special delivery unit, which is only for mothers carrying babies with birth defects who need care promptly after birth or before birth. And we'll do about 200 fetal surgery operations. Wow. Uh, do you have to run or can I squeeze in one more question? Sure, fire away. Is, is there anything that a mother might do or eat? Uh, we all know that alcohol and tobacco shouldn't be consumed and used, but um, is there anything that a mother can do to prevent um, birth defects? I mean, do, does anything happen simply by motion or, uh, or no, roller coasters or anything like that? I don't know. I'm trying to think what it might be. It's a very good question. It's important that the mother have good OB care. It's important that the mother get folate, folic acid, before getting preg- pregnant because um, that's one way to, pre- to prevent spina bifida, that specific birth defect. And then in, in the big view, for, in terms of my work as a fetal surgeon, it's truly inspiring to see so many children 
who as babies likely would, could have died or have been severely disabled now running around and growing up healthy and strong. I bet that is, especially doing it as long as you've done it. Wow. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, well, Doctor, thank you so much for being on with us. Dr. Scott Adzik, again, the website he gave us is CHOP. Dot edu CHOP is an acronym for Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, C-H-O-P. And uh, that's where you'll find more information. Call us if you need that repeated, if you're out there driving and you can't write it down. Dr. Adzik, thank you so much. Stay warm up there. Come to Florida sometime. Okay. All right, all right. We'll take a little break. We will be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Some sunshine today with highs ranging from 72 in the north to 79 at the south. And partly cloudy and chilly tonight. A wide range in temperatures with a low of 38 across the interior north to 54 along the coastal south. Tomorrow not as warm with times of sun and clouds. Highs generally in the 60s to near 70. With Thursday clouds and sun, windy and cool with a shower the high in the mid-50s to mid-60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello, Gorgeous Salon. We are located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion.